Part D is always going to be that part with sampling distribution where they're going to make us draw the curve and answer a question about probability. So what I did down here is I took this distribution that we figured out. This difference was a normal distribution with a mean of 0 0.10 and a standard deviation of 0 0.89. What I then did is I drew the curve down here, centered it 0.1. I added those standard deviations at 0.089 three of them to the right, I subtracted them to go to the left. So what I actually did is I, I have a range there from negative uh, 0.16, negative 0.167 to positive 0.367. This is our sampling distribution of differences. What I then did, uh, according to the question, is it asked what is the probability that I would get a result of what we did or more extreme? So going back to part A, 0.1917, I add that to the curve where it needs to be. I shade to the right because that would be where my more extreme is. And then I'm gonna go and speak good um, statistics. So the probability of that difference of samples, p hat d minus p hat e being greater than 0.1917. Um, this piece right here is uh, Mr. Micah's students did some with z-scores and I wanted to show this is the z-score you get. And then you can use the table um, to go ahead and um, access what you need for the actual probability, or you can go ahead and use normal CDF where in your calculator uh, where you have lower bounds, upper bounds, means, and standard deviations. So the lower bound there is that 0 0.1917. The upper bound, there really is none, so we go up to just lots of nines. Uh, our mean is 0 0.10, our standard deviation is 0 0.089. If you are going to use this method with the calculator commands, please label each one of those numbers. I will tell you though that drawing the picture is definitely a better option. When I go ahead and do that, what I find out is the probability of having a um, difference of 0.1917 or more extreme is equal to about 15%, about 0.1515. Always take the four decimal points. I've said all year, don't round, don't round, don't round. So that's why I take it the four decimal points. So this is kind of a really nice complete question when it comes to sampling distributions. It really walks you through every step where you're figuring out the center, the mean, the spread, the variability, that standard deviation, the shape. We want it to be normal and then using our abilities with the normal distribution to answer probability questions.